The word for today is wait. This is the altar at Fisher Chapel at Camp Nawakwa, and I was sitting in front of it all by myself in the woods when I heard a word spoken out loud. The only word that I've ever suspected that maybe came directly from God? It was wait. That's it. Just wait. No context, no clarification, no further direction. Pretty helpful there, big guy. Maybe it was all in my head. Regardless of where it came from, it was a tough word to hear because I'm particularly terrible at waiting. It's very low on my list of skills. I want things to happen right now. I want the line to move faster. Ugh, there's nothing I hate more than having to wait well, I mean, that's a bit of an exaggeration. The truth is, I heard that word in this holy place about 20 years ago, and I have gotten better at it since then. To be honest, at the time, I didn't want to wait for anything. I wanted to do and decide however I felt in the moment. I thought that that was freedom and following your heart and listening for the Spirit. God never wants us to wait, right? God wants us to act! That one word, wait. I have no doubt now, and I didn't then, that whether that voice was external or internal, wait is a word from God. Maybe I especially needed to hear it, but I think we all do. Wait. Pause. Slow down. Don't act yet. Stop. Think. Pray. Choose to not do and decide however you feel right now in the moment. Wait. We hate it, right? And yet God promises that good things will come. God promises, I think, that we will discover our better selves if we just wait. We're not good at it. But maybe that's a reason that God speaks it to us. Maybe God wants us to practice so we can be better at it. So we can just be better. Wait.